Back to you asked for it, and here's Jack Smith. A thing of rare beauty, black bordered wings of brilliant orange. Yet hidden within that tiny brain is one of nature's unexplained mysteries. Mrs. G.E. Owens of Arlington, Massachusetts writes, Every year, millions of monarch butterflies migrate from the far north to their ancestral home on the Monterey Peninsula in California. They return even to the same trees. How is this explained? Well, Mrs. Owens, not until recently has much attention been given to this remarkable insect. But then the Queen of England commissioned Dr. Eckhart, a Canadian zoologist, to study the monarch homing butterfly. By banding the wings, he's been able to learn much of their flight. The glued band sticks together through a harmless hole punched in the wing. Thousands of banded monarchs released from both Monterey in the south and Canada and Alaska in the north have proved beyond any doubt that they migrate unerringly to their original Monterey home, one generation after another. We also know why they are safe in their long migration. The monarch feeds on the milkweed plant, making it distasteful to any bird. The voracious blue jay may catch a monarch, but he'll never eat it. The strange mystery begins each spring when the mating urge calls it north to many wooded areas of Canada and Alaska. They settle in fields of milkweed. The females lay their eggs and then die. Within the period of a month, the eggs hatch, the caterpillars form their chrysalis, and finally, from the chrysalis comes the young monarch. Through the warm months, they remain in the north to feed and grow, but in September, with the first breath of chill air, they rise and turn their way south. From every area they begin their flight, some tribal instinct calling them in one direct line toward their traditional winter home. None ever turns back. But how do they know where to go? Some think their odor and strong sense of smell is part of the answer. One monarch can detect another from two miles away, but that hardly explains a migration of thousands of miles. They fly from 20 to 25 miles a day settle only to rest and feed, and then their airborne trip begins again, each one as though on a radio beam, always in a direct line, flying over natural barriers, never around. They come from many parts of Canada, even Alaska. From there, they've been known to settle on the rigging of ships far at sea. And finally, they converge as though by some preconceived patterns down the Salinas and Santa Clara valleys of California, and prevailing southerly winds aid their flight now as they wing their way directly toward Pacific Grove on the Monterey Peninsula. And this is their last hop across the 23-mile stretch of Monterey Bay in late October. Fishermen are often startled by great golden clouds of monarchs that appear in the sky to fly low above the harbor. But once across the bay, they still fly on, their homing instinct taking them to one spot, this cluster of Monterey Pines, which has been set aside by the people of Pacific Grove as Butterfly Park. This has been their home for countless years. Here, molesting of butterflies is punishable by heavy fine or jail sentence, perhaps the only law of its kind in the world. At first, the vanguard, only a few settling on the treetops. Perhaps the pine rosin, which holds their scent from year to year, helps them find the right trees. But how could this explain their migration from so far away? They do not come for the milkweed, because there is none in this area. Branches grow heavy with many thousands of beautiful swarming butterflies, often completely covering the trees. During this time, a gentle rustling is heard as they settle, then all is quiet. And here they remain throughout the winter. They grace their home like a garland or exotic Chinese lantern. But still we have no final answer to this, one of nature's greatest wonders, the homing butterflies of Pacific Grove at Monterey.